How do some argue that the phrase the night visions in Daniel 7 verse 13 refers to Muhammad's night journey to the seventh heaven to meet God instead of Jesus, whose ascension did not occur at night? Some argue that the phrase the night visions in Daniel 7 verse 13 refers to Muhammad's night journey, al-Isra wal-Miraj, rather than Jesus' ascension based on the following points. 1. The term night visions directly suggests an event that takes place at night. Muhammad's night journey, which is said to have occurred during the night, aligns with this description. In contrast, Jesus' ascension is generally not described as happening at night in Christian texts. 2. According to Islamic tradition, during the Isra, Muhammad traveled from Mecca to Jerusalem and then ascended through the heavens in the Miraj. He is described as having profound spiritual experiences, meeting past prophets, and ultimately coming into the presence of God. In Daniel 7 verses 13 to 14, one like a son of man is seen coming with the clouds of heaven and approaching the Ancient of Days, interpreted by scholars as God. This imagery of traveling through the heavens and meeting a divine figure has parallels with Muhammad's night journey. 3. The mention of the clouds of heaven could be metaphorically linked to the ethereal and divine nature of Muhammad's ascent through the heavens, which is a central element in the night journey narrative. 4. Some Muslim scholars see Daniel's vision as prophetic, foretelling not just events relevant to Jewish history but also later significant religious events. They interpret the one like a son of man as a reference to a future prophet who would establish a new era which Muhammad is believed to have done in Islam. 5. In the vision, the figure receives authority, glory, and sovereign power, and all nations serve him. Supporters of this interpretation argue that Muhammad's establishment of Islam fits this prophecy, as he united tribes and established a widespread religious and political community. While these arguments are compelling within an Islamic interpretive framework, this interpretation is not widely accepted in Christian and Jewish traditions. However, it's important to note that these interpretations are not mainstream and are often viewed within the context of interfaith dialogue or polemics. Traditional Jewish and Christian interpretations generally identify the one like a son of man as a messianic figure, often associated with Jesus in Christian theology, while in Jewish thought it can be seen as a representation of Israel or the Messiah, 